Lesson 1-5, Concept 3, Solving Word Problems with Equations. So most word problems can be converted into equations, all right? Uh, and this is a great way to solve them. Word problems can be very confusing. A lot of people struggle with word problems because words can have multiple meanings, all right? They can mean a lot of different things, but the mathematical problems that are the mathematical operations the numbers those are really easy to understand right it's really the easy it's really easy to understand what they mean because there's really only one meaning right two means two um, a plus sign means you're adding those numbers okay um, so if you can translate them correctly it's much easier to solve that mathematical operation or equation than um, it is to solve that word problem. Okay, so when I have a word problem that I'm trying to solve, the first thing I do is read the entire problem. All right, if I don't read it all the way through and I try to start translating it, I'm going to miss some information. Okay, I'm not going to have it all um, figured out. So our problem is Luke can mow three lawns in four hours. And he has eight lawns to mow this week. How many hours will it take Luke to finish? All right. And then the next thing I do is try and find the variable. The variable is almost always the question, right? In an equation, you're trying to solve for the variable. So in a word problem, that question is what you're trying to answer. That's what you're trying to solve. So if I... go to my question. Okay, what am I trying to figure out? I'm trying to figure out how many hours it's going to take him to do the whole eight lawns. All right, so that means this is going to be hours, and it's going to be total hours, All right? We're trying to find the total number of hours for Luke to finish. Okay, um, and then, since I've, I've found my variable, okay, I might use H for my variable because it stands for hours, um, I'm going to go on to the next step, and that's looking for number and operation words. So, if I look through, here's a number, 3, and there's another number, 4, and there's num another number, 8, this week, how many hours? And that's it. Those are my number words. So I know that I'm going to be using those, and those numbers are going to be important. And now I'm going to look for my operations. So Luke can mow three lawns in. In is an operation word. That's going to be a division. Okay, so three lawns in four hours. And he has eight lawns to mow this week. No operation there. How many hours will it take Luke to finish? Okay. All right. And so this eight is actually connected with this hours, right? Um, it's going to be eight lawns in how many hours? So that's going to be another division problem. All right. So if we go back, we're going to have... Um, our three lawns in four hours. Four hours. Okay. Three lawns in four hours. And then here I'm going to have how many is eight lawns going to take? So eight lawns in how many total hours and that I could even put a question by so I know that that's my variable that's what I'm trying to find out all right and now to clean this up I can get rid of my um, labels and turn this label into a variable um, let's just go with green for everything so I'm going to have three-fourths equals eight over h. Okay. Um, 
So there's a couple different ways we can do this. We have division on both sides, but here we have division of our variable. All right, so we're actually going to be multiplying our variable and moving our variable over to the other side. Okay, whatever we do to one side, we do to both. And we're going to end up with these H's canceling. H times 3 quarters equals 8. And this looks like a problem we're familiar with and we can solve. So because I'm multiplying a fraction, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. And whatever I do to one side, I do to both sides. These cancel. I'm left with h equals 8 over 1 times 4 over 3. 8 times 4 is 32 over 3. And I can look at that, and it doesn't look like that will be able to be simplified because 3 is a prime number and it doesn't go in, it's not a factor of 32. So that is my answer. All right, it's going to take in 32 thirds. I can change it to a mixed number. Um, it's going to take him 10 and 2 thirds hours. All right, that's it.